Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday. We're headed over to Sweden for the Smorgastorta. Now, this is a recipe from truenorthkitchen.com that I'm following, and she made it in such a way that I could actually break down the recipe to a quarter of its size to make one kind of small Smorgastorta. Here's the thing. Typically, it's made with a loaf of bread, cut this way, and then layered, frosted. It's a lot of food, and it's the reason why I have not made it thus far. But I found this recipe, and I thought, oh, I can quarter this. I can make a single serving. Um, so, yeah, we're going to make the uh, famous Swedish sandwich cake, Smorgastarda. First thing we got to do is make some whipped cream cheese. And to do that, uh, I've got cream cheese that's set out for an hour and milk. Now we season it with a little white pepper and set that aside. Now to make the vegetable filling layer, we take some of that whipped cream cheese, add carrots, red onion, diced bell pepper, and a bit of garlic powder. Get that mixed together. Now to make our smoked salmon layer, we've got mayonnaise and sour cream, lemon zest, and lemon juice. And now we add in fresh chopped dill, chopped smoked salmon. Now to make our egg salad filling, we uh, take sour cream, add in chives, Dijon mustard, get that mixed together. Then we add in the yolks of two hard boiled eggs, and lastly, the chopped whites of the hard-boiled eggs. A little salt, a little pepper. So a piece of bread with the crust removed, put on our vegetable filling. Top that with cucumber slices. Another piece of bread. Now we add our smoked salmon salad, another slice of bread, and our egg mixture. And our last slice of bread. Now this goes into the fridge for an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Time to apply our whipped cream cheese, quote-unquote, frosting. Now we have to decorate it. A little sliced cucumber here around the edges. And put a little chai blossom. And I'm using these things because uh, my big grubby meat hooks would ruin this. So, a little dill. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm behind. Ta-da! Okay, let's give this smorgastorta a go. That's quite enjoyable. You got the crunch of the cucumber and the bell, red bell pepper. You got the nice dill smoked salmon combination and that rich uh, egg salad at the top. And then you got this ridiculous whipped cream cheese frosting. <laughs> it is good. I do want to plus it up a little though. If you had capers on your bingo card, congratulations. Okay, let's give this smorgos torta plussed up a little uh, capers a go. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer, right? You get that pickly pop and it goes with every single ingredient in there. All right, so the original smorgas torta, now this is typically made for uh, a party, uh, a bunch of people, and it's an entire loaf and it's a big deal. So you wouldn't necessarily make this for yourself like I did for a single sandwich. But I will say the combination of the vegetable spread, the smoked salmon with the dill and that spread, and then the egg salad, that is a nice combination. And that whipped cream cheese frosting was just a nice little touch. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that an eight and a half. Plus up with a little pickly pop from the capers, let's go nine. It is tasty. I will finish it eventually. Unless I have a party, I am never making this again. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Oh.